okay, well, you know how we talked about the kidneys involved in osmoregulation and nitrogen excretion? Well, in insects, it's malpighian tubules that do that job. And so when an insect eats some food, it absorbs the nutrients, and then those get absorbed into the hemolymph, which is like the insect's blood. Zooming into the insect, we can see the green things I'm drawing are the malpighian tubules. The blue is the hemolymph, then you've got the midgut, the hindgut, the rectum and the anus. So when the insect eats, things like sodium ions, water, urea, all get absorbed from the midgut into the hemolymph. In the hindgut, it's responsible for osmoregulation and nitrogen excretion. So it does that by pumping sodium actively out of the hindgut. Osmosis of water follows the sodium and then sodium is actively pumped back into the tubules and water follows, but this time urea is dissolved in it. So it carries the urea. So urea keeps getting absorbed back into the hindgut whereas the water and the sodium go round and round and keep getting pumped and remain in the hindgut. That causes the urea to move into the rectum where it dries out. And there's a bit of a chemical change, but it becomes uric acid and is excreted as a solid. So in insects and birds, it's uric acid. In mammals, because there's more water available, it's urea. And in fish, it's ammonia because there's loads of water available for fish. So why not take a screenshot and wait for the keywords at the so end? So did we nail it? What else do you need to know? Get in touch at learnatcadizzi.com. Thank you.